Good morning, y'all. This is Cherie with PassionatePennyPincher.com. I'm so super duper excited because today we're doing something I've been wanting to do for forever. We are making a kid snack board, aka a kid charcuterie, but with fun stuff, not just meat and cheese. So y'all tell me hello as y'all are hopping on. Tell me where you're at. Tell me if y'all are doing something fun for your kids these last days of summer because I think this is a great idea for a movie night or a um, game night. So y'all, I'm we're going to get up close and personal with this kid charcuterie. We'll try to get me mainly out of the picture. So what I have here is just a tray. And listen y'all, if y'all will share this video, we will give away a $25 Amazon gift card to one lucky winner because this is so cute and it's so easy and I've been so intimidated to make a charcuterie uh, because it just seems hard. But y'all, it is easy. I practiced yesterday and I could not even believe it in less than 20 minutes, I had the cutest, cutest spread for kids on the planet. So the first thing I did was I've got a tray. Now you could use a traditional charcuterie board, a, a wooden board, you could put down craft paper on your cabinets. You could, um, hold on, I'm trying to, Gosh, I hope I don't all of a sudden. Yeah, I knew that's what happened. Sorry. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I have my iPad going because that's the only way I can figure out how to see y'all's comments. So, good morning, Tammy and Love Nick and Annette and Sally and Kimberly and Marianne. Woo, it's so good to see y'all today. Um, so, okay, let me just slow down for a minute. So, I've just been trying to think of creative ways to. Uh, get my family together, be more intentional about things. And because all my kiddos are grown, a couple of them still live sort of in the area. So um, we've implemented a couple of things this summer that I think are fun. So you can use so many different snacks and things. Let me know, will y'all give me a heart if you've ever made um, any type of charcuterie or snack board and give me a like if you never, give me a heart if you have made one, give me a like if you've not made one. And also, give me ideas in the comments of uh, charcuterie boards that you might like to see. So, this is just a snack size of popcorn that I put in here. Let me, okay, I'm going to backtrack. I got overexcited. So, I took, I have a tray, and I've had this tray for forever. I think I got it at Home Goods. So, I took just var varying sizes of glass bowls. This is just like a mixing bowl set. And I kind of think that it looks good if you can do odd numbers. So that's always a good rule of thumb in decorating and in whatnot. And I think charcuterie boards too. So I have five little bowls here. Good morning, Shannon. Good morning, Jessica from South Dakota. Okay, so y'all, let me see. Y'all are saying hearts that you've made one. Um, good morning, Tammy. Uh, so, okay, we're gonna get started. We're going to get started, y'all. I'm being, I'm too wound up because I'm so excited to show y'all this. I'm going to calm, calm down. So I've got my popcorn and then I've got some caramel corn as well. Um, there is a link in up above that you'll be able to click through when the video is over. And Nicole, if she's not on yet, oh yeah, she's already, she's already pinned. I did a post on exactly what I bought and uh, instructions on how to put it together. So now I have my caramel corn in this bowl. And I'm just gonna start throwing stuff in my sink. Those. Okay, went over. Okay, now I'm gonna put some M&Ms in the center bowl. Y'all, this is so cute. I just could not believe uh, if y'all go look at the pictures, how cute it turned out. And then I've got some mixed nuts that I'm just going to put in my other little bowl. Pouring things is kind of a, a little crazy, but hey, if they get on the board, it's fine. Kareen, good morning. Uh, Kareen said that she loves charcuterie boards. I do too. And I do make them actually a lot, but I've never made one super duper fancy like this before, but now I am hooked and y'all may be seeing these a lot. So I've got some Sour Patch Kids. I picked a few things that I know that my grown up kids like and I'm gonna pour them in this bowl. 
And I was going for color here too, because I thought that that would be really cute. And listen, y'all, when I made it yesterday, my youngest son came in and I had to like, you know, be like, no, you can't eat all of these snacks. So here's what we've got so far. And I just want to make sure that y'all can see well. Okay, so I have got a ton of ingredients, but I started thinking about it. I was trying to do mainly gluten-free ingredients because uh, my son's girlfriend um, is needing to eat gluten-free right now. So mine was a little more expensive than I think that you could do. Cause I think a lot of this stuff you could get like at the Dollar Tree. Cause they have like, you just need like the little, you can get the, like the movie size things and they're on sale right now for 88 cents at Kroger. So they'd be a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Okay, the next thing that, that you can, you do is I've got some cheese slices and I'm just going to, and I got, I was lazy and just got the pre-done ones. And what I'm gonna do is kind of make like a fan around a couple of my bowls. <clears throat> oh, I've also laid a piece of parchment on here because um, I'm going to have some fruit and blueberries and things that kind of get sticky, but you don't have to do that. It's up to you whether you want to. Okay. So, I'm just going to go around this. Y'all can see it's already looking so cute. Do one more. Oh no, that's good. Alrighty, and I'm gonna try to not just be so crazy messed up, messy when I get done here. Yesterday, I looked crazy. So now I've got some white cheddar, or you could use Swiss as well. And I'm going to go around. That one broke my m &Ms here. Ah, they're sticking together and breaking. Probably because I had them out yesterday and they got soft. I have to be gentle with my cheese. Okay, someone said position the camera so you can see it better. Okay, hold on, let me. Is it better to is that better? Or I thought I had it, I had it sideways. Is that better? Y'all give me a like if that's better. <clears throat> okay, I can see that. I'm, I've got y'all on my iPad. I know, I'm sorry that y'all have to see the, my tripod stand there, but I think that's good. Okay, someone said that that is not better. Okay, I'm just gonna keep keep going with my cheese. It was better before, okay. I will move y'all back. Okay, like that. All right. Okay, y'all, my cheese is coming apart. It's just crumbling. And I know it's because yesterday I had it out for so long when I was taking pictures and such. Those will be great to snack on for me for lunch, though. We can't see the ends of the trays. Okay, I will be sure at the very end to give y'all the full picture of it. I can do that from the side, but I didn't want to start out that way because then it would y'all would be having to watch from the side the whole time. I had it that way to set up with, and at the last minute, I changed it to a direct view. So I think it needs to be further away. Okay, we can do this. That might be a little bit better. Okay. The next thing that I have are some strawberries. And I'm just going to bunch. One thing that you want to do is you want to bunch your ingredients mainly together. You can sprinkle a few things here and there, but you want your ingredients to kind of be mainly together. And y'all, these are the most pitiful looking strawberries that the Kroger Clickless people gave me. They're at their end. They're just like the little tops are dried out. So I hate that they're not really pretty. 
and big and plump, but it is, I think, I guess it's maybe the end of strawberry season. So we just can't, we just can't worry about it. Okay, so I'm gonna put some strawberries here. And then to kind of even it out, I'm gonna put a few right here as well. I think y'all can see that. And then it doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. You can just go with the flow. They also gave me, Kroger was having trouble yesterday. So many things I got were just not good quality, which was really unusual, but my grapes look bad too. Uh, let's see. Pam says it looks good to her. Alrighty, so tilt, someone said tilt the tray. Turn, turn your tray. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I could put y'all from another angle, um, but we're just gonna go. Okay, now I'm gonna do some grapes over here. Some different color, I like to use the different colors. Grapes. Oh, that's a big, okay, get some scissors. Anyway, y'all let me know if y'all have made, I, I am not an expert charcuterie person over here, so I'm sure that uh, many of y'all can do this better than I can, but it was really fun. I had a lot of fun yesterday messing with it, and um, it was good for my, my psyche, if y'all know what I mean. Sometimes you just got to get creative. Alrighty, so let's see, what else do I want to do next? Um, oh, I've got some blueberries. I think I'm going to do those in a minute, though. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my pre-packaged ingredients. I also have an apple here that I may use, but I think I might not. And y'all, I'm working with limited space, so I have to shuffle. Okay, so I have a bunch of my dry, I'm going to call my dry ingredients, whatnot. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this one mainly gluten-free. I do have some goldfish, but I'm going to do those at the very end because I don't want to cross-contaminate anything. Alrighty, so I've got some pretzel, pretzel crisp. You could um, definitely use regular pretzels and I'm just gonna sprinkle them here. I will definitely give y'all a side, the, a good view here in a minute. I should have went with my first instinct and I definitely could, but I feel like y'all are probably sick of hearing about my tray. So I've got my pretzels. Then, let's see. Oh, I forgot my crackers. Okay, I should have done this next. Y'all, I've gotten all nervous about my tray being wrong. So, hold on. I have these gluten-free crackers. You could use Ritz. I think Ritz look really cute. And these were all breaking yesterday as well. But, I'm just gonna line them just like in a fan, just like I did my cheese. And then you could do a couple of different crackers. Um, this has turned mainly into a sweet board because I don't know, I got kind of crazy with my ingredients. But there's my gluten-free crackers. Then, kind of wipe my hands down. I have got some, what do I wanna do next? Y'all, these gluten-free, apparently the gluten-free Oreos are really delicious. So we're gonna use those in a minute. I've got some chocolate chip cookies as well. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put those in a little fan around my nuts. Then I'm gonna use my Oreos. This is gonna kind of be like my little cookie section. Y'all don't forget to share the video and we will definitely give away uh, one $25 
Amazon gift card. Alrighty, got my cookies done. I'm just gonna move these back here. Gotta wipe my hands a little bit. I will definitely show y'all the rest of it. All right, so I think I've got some little, these are uh, bunny friends that are gluten-free, but Teddy Grahams are another great idea. So I'm just gonna sprinkle these right here. Thanks for sharing, Madonna, I appreciate that. And these are mixed. These are, these have chocolate ones and regular ones. I'm just gonna load these suckers up. All right, now I've got some just good old, old fashioned in the shell peanuts. Oh, Madonna, you're in Nashville. And I'm just gonna pop these right here. I am gonna put the peanuts in a couple of different Spots as a filler. I'm trying to see what else I still have left. Oh, I have my animal crackers. Oh, where did I put those yesterday? Hmm. I've got to do my animal crackers. Hold on. Okay, well, they're going to go over here. You know what? I bet, I bet yesterday I didn't put these strawberries over here and I have the animal crackers right here. Right there. And then I'm going to come back and fill in with a little bit more fruit. I also have some row loads. And I think these are fun because they're just going to add some kind of fanciness to it. And these are the top things that you can sprinkle around as just like little fillers and stuff. Probably add a few more of those. So I'm gonna put some grapes. Y'all give me grace because this is really the second time I've, I've ever done this. Oh, and I've got my blueberries. Y'all don't let me forget my blueberries. I'm gonna put some grapes right here because I think that would be pretty. And Put a few red ones right there as well. So that's cute. And the blueberries, I think, really add a pop. So I didn't really leave them a space, but let me think where they should go. I'm gonna put some blueberries over here in this corner and I will show y'all when we get done. We'll put those in that corner and then I'm also going to put some, I'm gonna move some of this stuff around and hope that this stuff doesn't get soggy just cause I feel like it needs a little something, something right there. And that is on the parchment paper. I won't have to worry about those getting soggy. So I do have some goldfish crackers, but I think I'm out of room and they're not gluten free. So that way this will be completely safe for our little girlfriend. And y'all I'm doing that left-handed and that does not feel natural. Okay, I think that's cute. So that is about it. I mean, I can add a few things here and there if I want to. Let's see if I need to add a few more. I think I'm going to sprinkle a few more just peanuts kind of around. They're just kind of a fun um, little addition because they're just different. But I think that is it. Now, let me move y'all where you can see it really well. Wash my hands. So, what do y'all think? Y'all think it's, I think it's cute. And if y'all go to the post, I think the one I did yesterday, maybe, 
a tiny bit cuter, but, oh no, no, I forgot the most important thing. The standout thing are these Twizzlers. Oh, this is really cute right here. I think this really, really adds it. I knew it was missing something. I kind of got happy with my little bunnies. But I think these Twizzlers, they add a little pop of color and they're fun. You could also use sour sauce. My kids love all the sour, the, the sour stuff. So what do y'all think? Did we do good? Woo, okay. If only I had more room, but let me show y'all. This is how I had it set up to begin with, but I was scared that y'all wouldn't, that, you know, it, I don't know. I guess because I would be doing it sideways. I was nervous that y'all wouldn't be able to see as well. So, since I have my iPad right here, I can answer any questions. Melinda, thank you so much. So, um, y'all can see the whole thing now, I believe. Can y'all see the whole? I think y'all can. The whole thing. Thanks, Lizzie. Thanks, Diana. I hope y'all enjoyed this. And if y'all will click through to the link and keep sharing, um, Janet, thank you so much. She said she loves it. Y'all, this is just really fun. This is just something happy. It made me really happy working on it yesterday. And I already had a tray and just got a few snacks. So my uh, son and his girlfriend are going to have a fun <laughs> snack attack, apparently, because this is a lot of stuff going on here. But I think this is fun. Y'all keep sharing throughout the day and we will pick a $25 Amazon gift card winner. And I should appreciate y'all and I hope y'all have a great, great, great day. See y'all later. Bye.